It was an amazing experience doing that show. It's uh, something that's, uh, uh, it's a great deal of fun to do it, and it's very, very interesting. It's interesting on a lot of levels, um, not the least of which is the fact that it occupies so much time and attention when the show's being done, and, and everyone's focused on it. And then, of course, a week afterwards, no one remembers anything. And a month, I mean, if I were to ask you or any member of your audience who won the Oscar last month, uh, trust me, it would take them five seconds before they could even remember the film of the person, let alone the person. But it was exciting because it's a live show, it's a big show, uh, it's a show that everybody watches. Yeah, look, I, I think that everything sh uh, that you do in the, uh, should, should somehow be authentic. To, uh, you, you know, that, 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 uh, that, that this should be a connection to the world around. And I've done 13 Oscar shows now, and I try to uh, connect as much as possible the Oscar show with the emotional happening in the world. Now, that happens in a large measure by the movies because you know, sometimes you have movies which are studio movies, sometimes you have movies which are independent movies, happy movies, sad movies. But on the other hand, things are happening in the world. So the first year that I did the show, uh, the Berlin Wall had come down. And it seemed that everybody was euphoric, and it seemed a per perfect time to have an, a party around the world. So the first year that uh, we did the show, uh, we had Jack Lemmon in Moscow and Charlton Heston in Australia, and then uh, I had someone in, in Japan and in, uh, uh, no, I'm sorry, Charlton Heston was not in Australia, he was in Argentina. Uh, so we had people, from, we, we, we just opened up the world and had this big party. And uh, the films were the films, but you know, there was that. One year when Dianne Feinstein and Barbara Boxer were elected uh, the senators from California, we uh, had a show that um, was focused around women in, you know, in film. and. Uh, we had film packages uh, about such things as that um, until World War II, basically, most of the film editors that edited all the films you remember were women. That uh, somehow, whether it was because it was thought of like a tailoring job, I, I, you know, I don't know, but, the, but they were women in all the great films. So we were interested in women cinematographers. And um, e each year seems to indicate, seems to have an emotional connection to something. So. Uh, my approach is to try to find what that emotional connection is and see if we can graft that onto the movies.